Welcome to this PT Booth Custom Photo Booth Software Tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to show you how to create a custom skin. So the question comes up, what is a skin? Well, the skin is a set of five screens, and these are the screens that you or the photo booth user will see while in the photo booth. The first screen is our welcome screen, and as you can see, this is our default uh, skin here. Now, we'll talk in a minute about how you can change and customize this. The next screen is the get ready screen. This is the screen that has the live view. Uh, you can also zoom in, zoom out if you need to do that. Our third screen is the photo session screen. This is where you're going to have the countdown and, of course, the live view. The fourth screen is the opportunity to review the pictures. You can retake them or just go ahead and print them. And then finally, our fifth screen is the waiting for print screen. Now, um, just to touch on this uh, very, very briefly here, all of five of these screens can be modified. What you've just seen here are the default skins, but everything can be modified and changed. You can change the color of background, you can change the text in there. The only thing that cannot be changed is the location of the buttons and, uh, the, lo and the location of the um, live views and the countdown. All of that has to stay there, but the text around it and the background color design, that can all be changed and modified. Take a look at the screen as we show you samples of custom screens created by our customers. Now before we get into this tutorial on how to modify the skins, uh, we are going to assume at this point that the software has been installed in your computer and that you have applied the default skin that matches your screen resolution. First you need to locate the folder that contains the Photoshop files. Now to do this, open your PT Booth package. You'll see a skin template folder where all the skin template files are. You'll have to actually unzip these in order to edit them. Now, as you can see, each set of skin templates are separated into folders based on the screen resolutions. You'll want to click on the folder that matches the resolution that you have. Once you've opened the folder that matches your screen resolution, simply click on the screen file that you want to modify. In this example here, we're going to go ahead and open up the welcome screen and we're going to modify that. I do want to point out that in order to modify these templates, you do need to have Adobe Photoshop installed in your computer. Now everything on this screen can be changed except for the size and the position of the button there in the middle, but you can change the text, the color of the button, the text around the button, the background, so have fun. Now I do want to point out that we are certainly not Photoshop experts here, so uh, play around with it and you'll get better if you're not familiar with Photoshop. Uh, if you are, that'll give you a, a big leg up here. Now in this particular example here, we're going to show you how to change the text on the screen as well as the background. Now, 
Now once you're done with your modified template, what you want to do is go to your file menu, go down to save for web, and this is going to allow us to save our new file here. You're going to want to save it as a JPEG at 100% quality. And one important thing to point out here is you do not want to change the name of the picture. Now before you save it, or as you're saving it rather, it's important that you save it uh, in the right place, which is going to be your skin folder in the PT Booth software. Just go ahead and follow the path that we're showing you here on the screen. Now once you've arrived in the skin folder, it's important that you replace the right screen here. Now we've just modified the welcome screen. So what we want to do is make sure that that's the screen we're replacing. So you'll want to replace your default welcome screen with our newly modified welcome screen. Now we want to go ahead and verify that our new template is in place. So go ahead and open up the software. And there you go. Now you'll want to follow the exact process uh, that we just did here to modify that welcome screen for any of the other screens um, in the skin template. Now I want again to point out that you cannot change the position or the size of the buttons or the countdown screen or the live view screen but again everything else as far as the text that's in them the text that's around them the colors the background all of that is completely left up to your imagination thank you so much for watching this video tutorial and for more information please visit our website and YouTube channel